Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. Blimey! Those are some razors you've got. Need to chat. I'm all ears, Witcher. So long. No stranger to the bottle, eh? You that mad cut two hundred kings. Oh, I sold my ass for a side of me. Stay out of my way. That's all I had. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vaclav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Borsodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Make an exception. That's the smart thing to do. Threats don't scare me. I've sworn to serve Redania till death do us part, and I'll keep my oath. With a song on my lips. Careful, bugger means it. God, Mater, Redenia, Bruli, Fecunda, Nubili. Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from. Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No. Stand to attention, and shut your giggy. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sut it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two!
appreciate the help. Just night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you is a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Mm. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor school. Van de Neu and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid often horsed a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. <laughs> Pretty much unbeatable. Aye, and I've near seen the purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little a keep his soul. But Horst did like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Egg, white gold, and mother of pearl with topaz insects sold to Madame Lee. Geralt, you thought of buying real estate? Could get the attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri marks? Come on. You know damn hmm. well that makes no Auction sense. Won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Oh, smell. Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamine. What now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Did you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedamaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%, a modest, uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal.
Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horse Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. I believe I'll bid on that Gorbet landscape. A landscape? You detest them. Ever true. But it's got a lovely frame. Hmm. Some spilled wine. Nothing else. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. <sighs> The first piece, the start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me, did he at least die like a witcher? No, he died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now... Be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Funny! Duke Clivet declared bankruptcy. Had that ring on his finger. Shite, is it fat? Albert, it's been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, isn't it? Come on, admit it. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helbert. Geralt here's 
A positively superb player. Superb. Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, might you have a wee word? What is it? Well, mate, seeing as I brought yous together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. I find this free of sorts you can. <clears throat> Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my tree, friend. Coin did a stink. So, what'll it be? Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. 10% of any winnings is yours. Any chance for 15? Don't push it, Vimy. All right. Game on.
Unbelievable, I don't buy it. You cheated, you must have, for something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Afore Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. I've not seen you before among the well-heeled. Hello. Psst! The cat-eyed one. That's Gerard of Rinby. I've heard many tales. I beg your pardon? Yaramir! Uh, might we trouble ye a wee spell? Mm-hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Really? Merchant with the pearl, no two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm, might I have a word in private? Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roe is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, has his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friends beckon. So, what did he tell you? Ah, uh, nothing special. Truly? Huh. Shame, that. All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my heed in. Huh. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much elseways.
Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Horst Vasodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! Ah, knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice and sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes at 20. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, Going thrice, sold Van Rose Starry Night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eye. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Incredible. With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once. Going twice? Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt. Look! Horst Basudi. Come on, before some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who... Comes uninvited. Forgot my manners, forgive me. The teaching at Kaer Morin, well, etiquette wasn't high on the list. Scandalous. Hmm, that's plain to see. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to- What's one like you want from one like me? The Borsodi's auction house. I'm assuming the name's no coincidence. Got a relative I could talk to? Someone, how do I say this, a smidgen less irritating? <laughs> uh, name's a historical legacy, Geralt. Auction House was founded by two brothers, Horst's father and an uncle. In this generation... I, and only I, am it. So get to the point, now. Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. 
gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it- What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen! No reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hemelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Your mom smells a good <laughs> Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gore. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsodi's house alone. Hmm. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point. If you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. There are witch hunters in the city. Cat eyes. Mark of the devil. Job for me, an interesting one. You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. So long. Pretty damn hot. 